Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to go ahead and take a look at how we can sample just a, a section of a texture here. So what I mean by that is if I go ahead and open up this texture and this is just a chart of the 0 to 1 space in the UVW space and I'll provide a link to this actual texture. Um, what I mean by sampling um, just an area of this is what if we want to have um, say for example multiple um, signs or labels or something along those lines on one texture but we want the ability to change them so we may have something like this where in the zero one here we might we may have um, we have may have one label in here and the second one in the a2 third one in the a3 fourth one in the a4 and so on and so forth and we may want the ability to change that in the game to give our assets the appearance that it has a variation so we're going to go ahead and look at um, setting this up. So let's just close this and I'm going to go ahead, go ahead and choose add new and I'm going to go ahead and choose material and press M underscore. I'm going to call this M underscore texture sample. So it's like we already have one set up. So I'll go texture samples. So we, we already have one here. So let's, let's open up the older one. So you see here that we have just a blank material. So I, I can go ahead and delete this. And in here, I'm going to go ahead and drop in the texture. So let's left click and drag this into the texture space here. And if we hook this up, so we just place this into the base color and then we go ahead and choose set plane. What we can see is that the entirety of the texture is on the surface now what we can try and do is go ahead and choose um a uv coordinate so i just press and hold the u key and if i click and drag this and then if i go ahead and start playing with these so maybe like 0 0.125 0 0.125 then what we get is that 0 0.01 um, unfortunately though this is not parameterized so what that means is that we cannot have the ability to move this around in the scene now the reason I know that this is point uh, one two five is if I go ahead and um, set this back to default and let's just open up this texture here so I can explain how this works so inside here we have um, zero to one and you imagine that zero is here and one is here and zero here and one here and zero here and one all over here so if the final value here is one then we have to divide this um, by a total amount of value so this as you can see has eight so we have four grids so we're one two three four one two three four one two three four all blah 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 all the way to eight so what you do is you divide the one by eight and you'll get 0.25 so that means that 0 0.01 is um 0.125 and a2 is 0.25 and so on and so forth all the way over to get over to one same by going in the um, vertical axis and then we would combine those values to get say b2 c3 and so on and so forth so uh, it's, a, it's a little bit of a uh, math involved here but let's just go ahead and look at how we can set this up so we can parameterize this so what we want to do is we want to take our texture coordinates and the first thing we want to do is have the ability to set which one of these is visible so we're going to do that by dividing so let's go ahead and type in divide and place a divide in here and we're going to plug this into a then what we want to do is we want to divide this by the amount of um of uh, sections we have so we see we have um, eight, eight down and eight across. So if we go ahead and set the um, this to eight, then we'll get just this one tileable square up here at um, 0 0.01. So to do this, I'm going to press and hold the S key, and this will bring in a scalar parameter. And we're going to call this um, UV divide. and plug this in and we're going to set the value of this to 8 so if we go ahead and plug this in over here what we get is a 0 0.01 now if we decrease this so say we did 4 so we'll go ahead and set this to 4 what we get is a 
Oops. Four. We'll get a um, a larger square, so we'll get the zero one, a two, b one, and b two. So this is basically just the way in which we can add in more of the texture if we need this. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep this simple and keep this to eight. And so now you can see we have this at the zero point zero one. Now the next thing we want to do is have the ability to change this in the horizontal and vertical, so we can change whether or not um this is going to it's going to be using the texture at zero zero point one or whether it's going to be an a one and so on and so forth so the way that we can do that is we can add a scalar parameter so if we go ahead and choose add so we're going to go add and we're going to plug this into b and then we want to go ahead and press and hold the two key this will bring in a constant two vector and we can plug this in so now we have these two values and these represent the um, R and the G represent the, um, the horizontal and vertical plane. So say we go ahead and set this to 0.125, what we get is A2. And say we go ahead and set this to, let's just set this back to zero. And we set this to 0.125, <coughs> excuse me, we'll get B1. And then say we combine these, so say we did 0.125 by 0.125, what we should get is b2 here so let's go ahead and set at 0.125 and we get b2 now the problem with this is that if we go ahead and right click this and we convert this to a parameter what we actually get is um, a, a, an igb value and this won't particularly work we can no longer go ahead and set these values and it, it will pan um, when we add some additional nodes in here however it will pan on the vertical axis so what we need to do is we need to go ahead and bring in two constants ones so we do this by pressing um or what actually what we're going to do is we're going to press and hold the s key and bring in two scalar parameters and so the first one we're going to call this um u tile and in the second one we're going to call this v tile And what we want to do is we want to append these vectors. So appending them will, all that will do is bring them back together into um, one vector parameter, but it will still allow us to control, to control these independently. So let's go ahead and type in um, append, and we want to choose the append vectors and we want to plug A and B together. So let's plug this in here and plug this in here. And then we can go ahead and plug this into A. So you see, we still got our one. However, if we go to 0.125, we'll get A2. And if we go to 0.25, it'll move on to A3 and so on and so forth. So let's set this back to zero. And we have this back at our zero texture. And we can do the same here. So we can go, uh, we can go 0.125, 0.25 and so on and so forth. So once we combine those, um, combine these together what we can get is any combination of these now um, what we can do if we'd like if we were to see more of this texture is we can still go ahead and increase this value or decrease this value so say we go ahead and set this to four and we bring in more of this texture now when we add in those values of uh, say 0.125 what we'll get is blocks of four 0.125 you see we get blocks of four and we're just getting more texture resolution here so let's go ahead and set this back to zero and i'm going to go ahead and set this back to zero here oops actually we need to set this to um set this back to eight sorry okay so that's essentially the map out of this um we can go ahead and bring in say a practical example of how this would work so i just want to give you an example of when or how you may use this so let me just bring these over here and i'm going to go into this i'm going to bring in this mesh and i'm going to bring this in and you see we have this ball now this um ball has this texture so this is just two colors we're going to be used to separate them now notice how i have this red um box here in the top left hand corner and this is representing that block so that first chunk that we had so whenever we are um 
are going to set up um, something like this then we need to have, have the ability to separate our meshes now we can do something simpler like having um, uh, multi sub objects if we'd like and um, that would obviously make adding a label for instance on this file much easier um, but this is going to allow us the ability to control the textures um, within one material so let's go ahead and we're going to bring in a few lerps so I'm going to press and hold the L key and bring in two lerps okay and the first one we're going to drag into B and we can we can break this off here and we're going to plug A over here and so we need to bring in this texture so I'm going to just pull this off here and bring this in and do this and we need to set the alpha to red and the alpha of this one we can go ahead and set this to I believe it's going to be in the blue channel I think it's going to be blue and green I'm not too sure let's see anyway so what we'll do is is I'll just bring in the color and I'll set this to something like blue something like this just to represent um, what we, what's going on here and if we go ahead and plug this in to the base color so you can see here that we have the, the base color now we have the texture in here but it, it's not fully displaying so I guess the reason for this is going to be um, probably down to this texture size here so let's set this to 4 we might really set this down to 8 So we have to set this to 2 and um, the reason for that is I guess mainly just due to the size of this here this is the actual size of that so we set this back down to 2 and we get that texture on here so you can imagine that this top part is controlling say for example the liquid or, or something like that the glass of the bottle this one part is controlling the label so by doing that we can go ahead and have a bunch of labels on our texture and start to change them so 0 0.125 would give us um, A2 0 0.25 would give us A3 and so on and so forth so let's set this back to zero so this is a simple um, um, expression here we can use to control um, certain areas of a texture so I'd like to thank you for watching and um, I'll see you in the next video